Hello everyone, myself Dr. S. V. Zadav and I welcome you to the first lecture on our first chapter that is chemical bonding and catalysis. So our unit 1 is chemical bonding and catalysis. In lecture 1 we will see the introduction part. Now before proceeding further we will have to revise what we have learned till now what you have learned up to your 10th standard level first one is the concept atoms you all know that atom is nothing but a smallest particle which cannot be further subdivided in marathi it is called as the anu the next mole the next concept is molecule molecule molecules are formed by certain kind of chemical bonds between similar or dissimilar atoms in marathi we called it as renu take an example of water molecule the formula of water is h2o that is its molecule contain one water molecule contain two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen number of atoms in the molecule is called as atomicity of that molecule or compound the next point we have to learn or we have to revise its atomic number we all know that atomic number is nothing but the number of protons which are present inside the nucleus of an atom or we can say that number of protons is equal to number of electrons which are revolving around the nucleus of an atom so atomic number is nothing but it is the number of protons which are present inside the nucleus of an atom or we can say that atomic number is equal to number of electrons which are revolving around the nucleus of an atom and the next one is electronic configuration electronic configuration is nothing but the systematic arrangement of electrons in the certain shells which are present around the nucleus of an atom these shells are called as energy shells or stationary states so further we have to learn that the type of atoms or it is also called as atomicity of the atoms because the atoms do not remain stable and the chemical bond is the force of attraction between the metals on the basis of these atoms can be of majority of three types first one is monoatomic which means only one atom is in the molecule its example is say, helium which is having atomic number only one second category is diatomic molecules where there are two atoms in the molecule for example hydrogen chlorine and nitrogen the molecular formula of nitrogen is n2 oxygen which is o2 and the third category is triatomic triatomic molecule means there are three atoms in the molecule for example ozone that is o3 water molecule h2o and carbon dioxide co2 one molecule of carbon and two molecules of oxygen atoms of the active element are not stable in their free state but bonds make them stable a chemical bond is the force of attraction between the atoms to hold them together as a stable molecule before proceeding further let's revise how uh, how to uh, write the electronic configuration for particular element before proceeding further we have we will revise the structure of an any particular atom you know that atom mostly consists of two parts one is the nucleus and another one is the electron shells which are present around the nucleus of an atom in this diagram you can see that i have taken the example of carbon atom in the nucleus which are uh, which is shown by the red and the blue color the red colors are the neutrons and the blue colors are the protons number of protons and number of neutrons they are collectively called as the mass number they are present inside the nucleus of an atom 
uh, as carbon atom contains six protons in its nucleus it must contain <coughs> it must contain six electrons revolving around the nucleus of an atom which are depicted by the green color which are shown by the green color as you can see that in the first shell there are two electrons and in the outermost shell there are four electrons so total there are six electrons further we have to learn that the stationary cells or the energy shells or the orbitals which are present outside the nucleus are of majority or of four they are divided into the four types that is k l m and n shell the k shell can contain maximum of two electrons l shell can contain maximum of eight electrons m shell can contain maximum of 18 electrons and n shell contain maximum of 32 electrons here i have depicted uh, electronic configuration of some of the atoms for example hydrogen its atomic number <coughs> is 1 helium its atomic number is 2 <coughs> we will take the example of sodium atom we all know that sodium which is having the symbol Na its atomic number is 11 so its electronic configuration will be 281 which is shown in this diagram the central black part is nucleus outside the nucleus the first shell which is shown in the pink color is the K shell as we know that K shell contain maximum of two electrons the two electrons are shown by the red color the second shell is the L shell which contain maximum of eight electrons which is shown by the blue color so there are eight electrons which are shown by the blue color and the outermost shell that is 281 the outermost shell there is only one electron this single electron which is present in the outermost shell which is shown by the green color is called as the valence electron it means the electrons which is present in the outermost shell of an atom is called as the valence electron next we have to see the electronic theory of valency the electronic th theory of valency uh, says that the electrons present in the outermost orbit of an atom determine the valency of an atom and hence it is called as the valency electrons the atoms of the element which contain eight electrons in the outermost shell said to have their octet complete whereas the atoms of the element which contains two electrons in their outermost shell it is called as the duplet the atoms which possess octet or duplet they are considered as having the stable electronic configuration only those element which is having less than eight electrons in the outermost shell of their atoms are capable of chemical combination so that they may also acquire the stable inert gas configuration with eight electrons in the outermost shell this octet or duplet can be achieved by two types the first one is to gain the electron or to lose the electron which is called as the exchange of electron and another category is uh, there is the possibility of sharing the electron between the atoms we will see that in our next lecture how to share and how to exchange the electrons according to the mode of formation there is a formation of different type of bonds as per the electronic theory of valency these bonds may be ionic bond which is also called as the electrovalent bond covalent bond coordinate bond metallic bond in addition to this there may be some attractive interactions known by the name hydrogen bond and one to one interactions so now let's see uh, chemical bond formation basically there are four types of chemical bonds the first one is the ionic bond ionic bond is also known as the electrovalent bond it is formed by the transfer of electrons transfer of electrons means out of the two atoms one atom will 
lost the electron one atom will give away the electron whereas the another atom will gain the electron second category is covalent bond covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons between two atoms third category is coordinate bond coordinate bond is formed by one sided sharing of the electrons and the last one is the metallic bond it is formed by the transfer of electrons or we can say by the transfer of delocalized electrons delocalized means which are not at the one place which are moving continuously delocalized electrons through the metal lattice so this is all about our chemical bond formation uh, this is our first lecture so i will stop here in the next lecture we will see in detail what are uh, how to form the various type of the bonds how to form the ionic bond in ionic bond we will see what are cations what are anions how they are formed and how the bond is will getting formed so uh, it's all about just introduction part of this our first chapter i hope uh, you are understanding the contents if you have any difficulty uh, you can type in the comment section of this particular lecture so thank you very much see you at our third lecture where we will see the formation of bonds thank you